Let's see if we can back up and see this deer without scaring it. I've seen all kinds of stuff today. Lots of ducks, mush rats. And we're gonna see this deer, I think. Hello, little deer. Hello, little deer. What are you doing? You like this time of year, don't you? There's no bugs, less people. It's not too hot. It's perfect, perfect temperatures for a little deer. A little deer it doesn't have the flies biting on it or the mosquitoes. It doesn't have as many people running up and down the road. Still gets pretty busy, but you know, she she's got or he she's got some pretty fur. Look at the color of the fur on its head with the it's just a really beautiful color of beige, I guess. Yeah. white-tailed deer. They're a very successful creature in North America. They live all across the country in all sorts of different geographies and climates. They can live in the marsh. They can live in the mountains. They can live in the prairies. They do like some cover though. They're not like the big elk and things that and mule deer that roam around out in the open prairie as much. White-tailed deer like some, they like to be able to hide. They like to be able to stay in the woods. But, uh, but they're everywhere. The bigger animals, like the buffalo and the mule deer and the elk, they, the animal, there's an antelope, it's not a really big animal probably bigger than white-tailed deer, I guess. I don't know, maybe it's smaller. We just, it's um, its not a true antelope. It's not like an African antelope. This is a new world antelope. I forget what, uh, oh, I forget what it's, they got another name. They live out west. They're a little different. But the white-tailed deer, they're everywhere. Now moose, Moose like to live in colder climates, like the caribou. The caribou can get out out in the open, like the elk. But the moose, they're big, huge, but they tend to kind of like to be in the cover too, and they like a lot of water. Moose will jump right in the water. They can swim underwater a little bit. They can dive down, not not for any particular reason. They just there's pictures of them doing that where they'll just jump right in and submerge themselves all the way. And they'll walk through the water, like with, just with like their nose sticking out of the water. But moose, I don't think I've ever seen any pictures of, of moose where the moose were, you know, really out in the open a lot. I mean, obviously they, they have to migrate and move around and whatnot, but it seems to me like moose also seem to like to live more in a, a wooded, wooded area. All right, little deer. It's been fun watching you. You're very pretty. Bye-bye.